hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm coming back with you guys with another video right now i'm just gonna start off by putting on a base coat because i am doing a pop off method i am gonna let you guys watch this and i'm gonna speed it up or up, speed it up just a little bit so it can seem a little faster and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next clip Alright guys, so after I have applied that base top coat, now I'm going to go in with some alcohol just to rub that extra shiny cast off. So when I apply my nail tips, it won't be so hard for the nail tips to stick. Because if you apply your nail tips right after you've cured your nails, it's definitely going to come off. Right now I'm just going to go in with my nail tips and I'm going to place them on. I did already pre-size them before I... Um, recorded this clip so i'm gonna let you guys watch this and i'm gonna catch you in the next clip Alright guys, so next I'm going to go in and I'm just going to cut basically the free edge of these nail tips. I definitely want to keep the length of these nails. The picture that I'm going based off of, and let me insert it up here, this is the inspo pic that I am going based off of. I am recreating this set and I love it. But guys, just for a disclaimer, my fire alarm does need to get changed. So if you hear that little beeping in the background, I know it could be so annoying because it's annoying me right now. But I will definitely have it fixed by the end of this day so hopefully guys just please bear with me throughout this video and that sound i really just want to push this content for you guys so i just really didn't have another choice but to record while it's beeping so right now i'm just pre-shaping my nail tips i'm just going over that surface making making the nail tip just more easier to see then i'm gonna do the same for the rest of my nails so i'm gonna catch you guys in the next clip All right, guys, so this is the acrylic that I'm going to be using. It's the 513 Glaze 06 from Dynamic Nail Studio. So I did record my acrylic process off camera. And the reason that I did this, y'all, is because for some reason, I tried to get the clips for recording this, this nail set. But for some reason, my phone kept dying. It kept saying I needed storage. And the camera just kept cutting off. My phone was on 10%. Like... The math wasn't mathing. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just explain to my nail girlies that I could not get the acrylic application if, even if I wanted to. Unless y'all wanted a one second clip of me literally picking up a small bead and placing it on my cuticle. That's all that I could get, literally. I've been trying my best to record my acrylic application because I know sometimes that acrylic application can be, you know, soothing to look at. It's kind of like therapeutic. But y'all every time i try to record my acrylic application it never come out right like and i'm not just talking about the application i'm just talking about the video or maybe sometimes my application it's, it just never worked with me so i'm trying so bear with me but right now you guys see me just going in and shaping my sidewalls and shaping my nails getting that crisp shape 
I am using my 88 grip file, the holy grail. I will always use her. But I'm gonna let you guys watch this and I'm gonna catch you in the next clip. And you guys know I had to get the thumb in there for some reason. I just love shaping my thumb when I record because like I said in every other video, it's at the end of my hand. So it's easier to record. And so y'all, so you guys can see everything that I do on the end of my hand with my thumb. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this clip and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. All right, y'all, so next I'm going to go with my e-drill. I am using a different bit, nail drip bit. Um, I got this from Amazon. I really don't know which one it was, but I do know it was by Panna, the nail brand Panna, P-A-N-A. -A. I might not be saying it right, so I just spoke it out for you. But I'm definitely going to go under my free edge, and I'm kind of going to I'm kind of gonna give me that C-curve look at my free edge without me using C-curve nails because I hate C-curve nails. When I first started off doing nails, y'all, I used C curve nails tips, but oh, hold on, hold on, I'll come back to that. Even after my shaping, this is how my nails look. Mm, Y'all already know, crispy. It don't get no better than that. Definitely love the shape. Definitely love how the nails are already looking. I did decide to do my nails a little longer than the picture that I'm gonna insert. Well, that you guys seen that the clips before. I'm just obsessed with long nails right now. Um, they do take me longer to do just because I have to use way more beads than I usually do if I do like medium or short nails. But I feel like that's for everybody. Why did I just take that deep breath like that? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm irritating myself. So I'm gonna catch y'all, I'm gonna catch you in the next clip. All right, y'all, so after I am done shaping, I'm gonna go in with my alcohol and I'm gonna spray every angle and you know get all that dust and debris off my nail and i'm gonna go in my nail brush and i'm gonna make sure i scrub just to get all that dust off y'all see the shape y'all see how it's shaping y'all see how it's looking y'all know it's giving but anyways this is after i've washed my hand and also scrubbed them with soap you definitely want to make sure you do that just to ensure that you don't contaminate none of your gel polishes just to make sure okay girl so now i'm gonna go right in with my nail house gel top coat right now i was I have so many and I use certain ones for like my practice nail sets, which I do it myself. Then I use the other one for my clients. So I was looking for the one that I'll be using to practice nail sets on myself with. So now I'm just going in with that nail house gel top coat and I'm gonna top coat every single nail. Yes, I top coat my nails before I do any nail art. The only reason why I do that is because I had my fresh share of experience of not top of coat, not top coat my nails before I do my nail art and I just don't like how it looks I feel like when I don't top coat my nail coat when I don't top coat my nail coat when I don't top coat my nails with nail coat I definitely feel like the lines from the 88 grip valve even if you buff and stuff like that they still be in there girl they still be in there like lurking around like little little rodents and stuff so I feel like when you don't top coat um your gel polish will definitely seek in into those, you know, fine lines that you created with that 88 grit valve. And so when I start top coating my nails before I did any nail art, um, I realized that my Frenchies will come out way more, you know, smoother. My nail art will come out way more smoother. And it's definitely easier to erase the nail art on the, the once your nails are top coated and you can start off very easier but then if you try to erase, you know, your nail art off for non-top coat nails, it's definitely harder and a messy, more messier thing. But right now I'm gonna go in with this DD Daisy, I believe, pink to do my Frenchie on this finger. You really can't see it because it is pink on pink, but I definitely did record the process so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this video and I'm gonna catch you in the next one.
all right guys so this is my friend tree after i am done with it i did make sure to record a separate separate clip to show you guys the Frenchie after I'm done with it since you really just couldn't see it in that last clip because like I said it's pink on pink but right now I'm gonna go in with my other finger I'm gonna start the nail art on this finger I'm just gonna draw a line across the nail and color it in with this same d, &D daisy pink I'm gonna let you guys watch this and I'll keep you, catch you in the next clip Alright guys, this is how this finger look after I am done with that nail art. Now I'm going to go in with my middle finger and I'm going to take this, basically this gel liner polish that's glittery so I can start working on my bling finger. Yes y'all, I do have a bling finger and instead y'all know I can never go wrong with a bling. You can never go wrong with a bling finger in your nail set. If you definitely want to pop your nail set off, always add that one single nail that's either 3D nail art or a bling nail or a junk nail. Always. If you just want to make a nail set extra, you just only got to add that one nail in and then bam, girl, you're set. But I did have trouble <laughs> recording um, the process of me applying the bling. So, I'm just giving y'all for a warning before that clip come. But y'all, this is how the nails look so far. They already cute, girl, just like this. So, now I'm going to go in with my D&D &D Daisy Pink Nail Polish again. I'm going to start creating a 3D croc nail print look. As you can see, I'm going to go in with each line. I did make these 3D croc lines a little bit more thicker because I feel like they need it to be. And in the picture that I'm going off of, it definitely looked like she did hers a little thicker too. So I'm going to let you guys watch this process. And I'm going to catch you in the next clip. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to go in with this finger, and I'm definitely going to do the same thing that I did with my other finger. I'm going to go back in with the D&D &D Daisy Pink Nail Polish, and I'm going to make my 3D croc print look. Like I said, I did make my lines thicker because in that picture, she definitely did the same thing. So I'm going to let you guys watch this clip, and I'm definitely going to catch you in the next one. All right, you guys, so moving on, I'm gonna make sure that that is fully cured and then I'm gonna wipe all that acrylic 
um, away so you can see how the nail look. Definitely hidden already. I love it. I love a 3D crock print. You can never go wrong with 3D crock print. You can never go wrong with blooming gel crock print. Like if you want to add something extra, girl, use a crock print. Definitely gonna come out cute. Now I'm going to go in with my Marquette Rhinestone Glue and I'm going to start working on my bling nails. I'm going to apply this Hello Kitty charm first and then after I cure that with my handheld UV light, I'm definitely going to go in with my bling. And I did struggle recording this bling process too only because like I kept telling y'all for some reason I decided to get off of work and do my nails and my phone was already halfway dead I have videos that I am still editing so I can post for you guys I'm trying to upload every other day or every other two days so I be having videos in my camera roll that I definitely have to edit and you know get posted so it does take up a majority of my storage so that's why I try to push out videos as much as I can but it does affect me in the process of making my nail sets for you know the other video to upload so I definitely did yeah I really did try just bear with me next video will be better but I definitely did want to push this video out for y'all because I just feel like this nail set came out so pretty and I just wanted you guys to see my process and how I make it you know just a step-by-step -step process, a little tutorial for you guys. But I feel like I'm waffling too much, which means I'm talking too much. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so this is how that nail look after I am done with that bling finger. It definitely came together. After this nail gave me hell on wheels, I swear I was like, do I even still want to record this nail set? For some reason, this bling was just not, you know, working with me. Same with this nail, y'all. Same process. I'm going to be applying some bling to this um, 3D crock print that I did do on this nail. And I tried, and I thought I was in, you know, I thought I was doing good recording this nail in that process. But then, bam. God was recording it and then out of nowhere like you're gonna see me apply you know these first couple of foot you know gems and then it's gonna cut straight into my next clip the reason why I did that is because literally y'all I was applying the, the gems and it was like uh phone is 10 percent and it stopped me it stopped my video it stopped my video y'all it really did and that pissed me off because it looked so good when I was recording it and you know I just hate iPhone storage. It sucks. But I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip. All right, guys. So this is how that finger look after I am done applying my gems. And now I'm going to move on back to, I believe, um, my other finger so I can apply this rhinestone straight in the middle of the nail. Um, I definitely like this finger. And y'all, fun fact. Or, you know, if you want to know something, I don't know what I'm saying from the fact. I ordered these, like, literally the day before. And I did overnight shipping. Like, literally, get it, give it, get it to me by today by 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Because I need it. But, yeah, I've been wanting those little, you know, gun, pink guns. I definitely love them. So, you're going to definitely see them more of my nail sets. Now, I'm going to move on to my pinky finger. And I'm just going to put everything that needs to be put on my pinky finger on my pinky finger. If you know what I mean. I feel like sometimes I be just talking too much in these videos. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys watch this part, and I'm going to catch you in the next one.
All right, guys, last but definitely not least, I'm going to go in with my thumb application. Well, not application, but my thumb. Um, it's, it's not a design. Uh, definitely, you know, just applying gems and stuff um, on this nail. Holy grail, y'all. I got to record a nail without my phone saying it's going dead, without my storage popping up. So, we saved the best for last. Because I definitely got to record this whole process of me applying the gems to my thumb. So, you know what? I'm going to let you guys enjoy this clip. Oh, well, no, no, I'm not. Because, bam. This is how the nails look after they're done. I'm going to go straight in and I'm going to apply some more gel top coat to the nails just to ensure everything is in place so i'm gonna let you guys watch this clip and i'm gonna catch you in the next one All right, you guys, so after I am done applying that gel top coat, I'm gonna go in straight with my cuticle oil and my same little gel nail brush to basically spread it over my cuticle so I won't get it all over my nails before I take my pictures. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this step and I'm gonna catch you in this clip. Boom, y'all. These came out so cute. I am in love with these, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all might hear me say, oh, I didn't want to take them off. But these, y'all, I swear, I did not want to take them off. I even tried doing everything I needed to do because I didn't take a shower before I did these nails. And I usually take my shower before I do my nails just because it is. But I remember I told you I got shut off for work and I did them. I did not want to take them off, y'all. And I had to get in the shower and it just said, boop, 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 boop. They popped off. But definitely one for the books. I definitely love them. And I want to thank you guys for staying in tune with my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Join me on my journey. I'm trying to build a little nail empire here. And I just want you guys to join me on my journey, guys. Please. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. So please stay tuned. I need to subscribe so you can know when I post. But, alright guys. Bye!